in this particular video we're going to be looking at straight line graphs. Now I'll write the whole question onto the description below in this video, but basically we're told that it's a straight line that passes through these points, one of which is something called K16, and what we're being asked to do is to work out the value of K, which we could actually say it's the value of X, because if we draw a sketch here then we've got minus three, minus two, so there's that point here, so this will be minus three, minus two. Um, one six is gonna be up there somewhere, so this is gonna be one six. And then you've got K16, which is this value of K, wherever it is, and it's gonna be up there somewhere, so this is gonna be K. 16. I would always advocate doing a little bit of a sketch first because I think it gives you an idea of what the graph looks like and that's important because in this particular case what it's telling me is that it's a straight line graph <laughs> bit wobbly but it is a straight line graph um, it's in the positive directions therefore what I do know is that the gradient is going to be positive I also know it's going to cross over the y-axis at some point now this might be a negative value I'm not entirely sure okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the general form of a graph which is y equals mx plus c. So the first thing is, is that the value of m is the gradient, which is the difference in y divided by the difference in x. Now the same gradient is true for all points on the graph, but very helpfully they've given us two points that we know quite a lot about. So we're going to use that information to find out this value of the gradient. In other words, how steep it is. Okay, so the first thing is the difference in y. Well, we're going from minus two to six. So if you like, minus two over here, big one, minus two uh, here, all the way up to six up here. So the difference in y. Well, that's a difference of eight. The difference in x then is minus three to one. So in other words, we're going from minus three to one, which is long here. Well, that's gonna be a difference of four. And very helpfully, these usually work out as a whole number or a fairly simple fraction, but that's going to be a gradient of two. So therefore, now I can write my equation of line as y equals two x plus c. And then it's really a matter of taking one of these sets of values, plugging into this equation to work out this intercept. Okay, so I'll take the second one because it's generally easy to deal with positive numbers. And what it's saying is that when y equals 6, x equals 1. So 6 equals 2 times 1 plus c. Okay, so all I've done then is plugged in the value of x and the value of y, which allows me just to do a little bit of algebra. 6 equals 2 plus c, so therefore c equals 4. So I was actually right with my graph that this is a positive value of c. So therefore I can write the whole equation now as y equals 2x plus 4, and that's the value of the equation. Okay, so to answer the question, we've got this value of k, which as we mentioned before, is really the value of x. So we can plug that into this equation because we know everything else about it. So we've got 16 equals two times, uh, I'll call it k, okay, plus four. And then using again, little bit of algebra, I'm gonna get 16, take four away from both sides. That's gonna be 12 equals two times k divide through by two, so therefore k equals six. So in this particular equation, the value of k, which is really the value of x, is gonna be six, and that would answer this particular question. I hope that's been okay for you. It is a little bit complex to kind of deal through, but really you're just applying this uh, general form of the equation, which I'm aware is slightly different in some textbooks, but this is generally what it's describing, the value of the gradient and the value of the y-intercept. Okay, please do add a comment below in the comment section. I'll always come back to you. Look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank <music> you.